Hello, in this video, we are going to learn keyframing in CapCut PC. Let's get started without wasting any more time. Let's begin by bringing this PNG into the timeline. These are transformation keyframes. With these keyframes, you can play with size, position, and rotation. Let's start with the size keyframe. Add a keyframe by clicking this button. Now bring the cursor to the middle of the PNG and decrease the size. It will automatically create a keyframe. Then, move the cursor further ahead and increase the size. This will automatically create one more keyframe. Let's play this animation. Next, let's do position keyframing. Add a keyframe and move the PNG to the left corner. Now bring the cursor to the middle and move the PNG all the way to the right. It will automatically create a keyframe. Now move it all the way back to the left again and let's play the animation. Now let's do rotation keyframing. Add a rotation keyframe at the start of the PNG. Bring the cursor to the center and rotate it by holding this icon as much as you want. Now if we play it, we'll see how it looks. Let's move on to opacity keyframing. Add an opacity keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Now bring the cursor to the middle and decrease the opacity. Then move it a few seconds forward and increase the opacity again. It will automatically create another keyframe. Let's play this. It will fade in and out. I hope everything is clear up to this point. Now let's learn how to make these keyframes smooth. Add scale keyframes. Then right click or press Alt plus K, select the keyframes and press Auto Curve to make them smooth. Let's play this animation. Let's say we want the animation to be slow at first and then fast, we will drag this point. What does that mean? It means the animation will move slowly up to this point and then suddenly move fast. Let's animate all the properties together. Bring the cursor to the start of the frame and add a transformation keyframe. Now, bring the cursor to the middle and change all properties, scale, rotation, and position, and let's play it. Do the same for other keyframes too. And let's play it. Let's change the opacity at each keyframe and see how it looks. Next, make everything smooth by applying auto curve to each keyframe and each property. Let's see how it looks now. These are the basics of keyframing. Now let's learn something at the intermediate level. We have this empty road and a car PNG. Let's animate it so that it looks like the car is speeding down the road. Go to the beginning of the video and add a scale and position keyframe. Now let's move a few seconds forward and add another position and scale keyframe. Adjust the PNG's position and scale and now it will look like this. Let's create a moving grid with a static grid in CapCut. First, drag a static grid into the timeline, scale it up, then add a position keyframe to move it from top to bottom. Now duplicate this and trim it down. You can duplicate it as much as you want. Next, let's create a smooth zoom in effect with the help of keyframes. First, drag the clip into the timeline. Add a transformation keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Move a few frames forward and add another keyframe. Now, add scale keyframe after few frames scale it up. Move a few more frames forward and add another keyframe so the camera will stay in the same position for a while. Now, add another keyframe and scale it down. Go to keyframe animation by pressing Alt plus K and apply auto curve to every keyframe. Let's create a 2D camera effect with the help of keyframes. Add green screen door stock footage and place any clip behind it. 
Let's remove the green screen by using chroma key and, and adjust it by adjustments, then selecting HSL and bringing the green saturation to zero. Now add a scale keyframe to the door clip, bring the cursor to the middle and zoom through the door until we can only see the background clip. Oh, we missed the position keyframe. Go to the start and fix the screen position. Now zoom in again, making sure the scale and position keyframes move across the door. Let's play it and see. Let's create some advanced camera keyframing. Add a transformation keyframe, zoom in on the clip and bring the clip to the top left corner. Move a few seconds forward, drag the clip to the top right corner and add a transformation keyframe. Now, move a few more frames forward and center the position. If we play, we'll get something like this. Add another keyframe to hold the camera position. Now go to the last frame, add another keyframe, and decrease the scale to fix the frame to the screen. If we play it, we get something like this. But something is missing, the movement is not smooth. To fix that, go to keyframe animation by pressing Alt plus K and make every frame auto curve. Let's play it and see. Lastly, let's learn color grading keyframing. Bring this clip into the timeline. To do this, go to adjustments and then basics. Add a keyframe at the beginning for saturation and exposure. You can do this with any property. Go few frames forward and bring the saturation to zero. Move a few frames forward and bring down the exposure. Now if we play, we can get something like this. In the next video, we'll learn masking in CapCut PC. Stay tuned for more informative content about CapCut and content creation. Bye. See you in the next video.